The collapse of Carillion and the plight of other large outsourcing companies like Capita show a system that's in crisis. This is a system that prioritizes the short-term interests of shareholders and executives over the long-term sustainability of the company. Ultimately, it's employees, customers and suppliers who end up paying the price. This is what Andy Haldane, Chief Economist for the Bank of England, has termed shareholder capitalism eating itself. This model is bad for three reasons. Firstly, it damages productive investment. As companies seek to focus solely on the short-term share price, they miss opportunities to invest in, in innovation, to train their workforce, and to buy better equipment. It's bad for fighting inequality. It's led to a huge rise in executive pay while employees' and workers' wages are squeezed at the bottom. And it's bad for the environment as businesses prioritise short-term decision-making without fully considering the impacts on the environment. But there's nothing inevitable about the system of shareholder capitalism that we have today. In fact, we need to think fundamentally about who owns the companies and in whose interest these companies are run. So firstly, we need to encourage different forms of ownership from the shareholder model. These could be mutually owned, employee owned, or, or cooperative businesses, as well as, where appropriate, uh, public ownership. This would ensure that the benefits of company ownership are spread more widely across society and that decisions about future business strategy are made with the interests of people and the environment in mind, not just shareholders. Secondly, companies, in return for benefits like limited liability, should be explicitly required to take into account a mission and purpose beyond just making money for their shareholders. This would lead to a business culture where goods and services were produced that really do have a positive impact on society, people and the environment.